Dear baby, I think that your daddy secretly was the most excited to meet you. Okay, so, oh, I'm so free of bringing it right now. So, like, this one looks so faint, and this one looks so positive. Sorry, there's stuff on them because I threw them away because I was like, there's no way. And then this one is positive. Like, it looks positive. This one looks positive, like faintly positive. And then this one looks like super positive. This one looks super positive. And then that one looks really positive. But then like, look at this one looks negative and that one looks negative. <laughs> so I'm like so confused. And so what's going on? He waited for you for a really, really long time. He always called you a she or Roxy. And he bought you a new safe home to grow up in and he knew where your crib would be. He always said that he'd be the more strict parent, but the way that he always held my belly at night and kept you safe, you already had him wrapped around your tiny finger and that was just forming. Really? I swear to God. What? I swear. No, no way, man. I'm crying. We're pregnant? Yeah. We have a baby. I'm four weeks and four days, so I'm still like Finally we're pregnant? Oh okay. When he carried me out of the hospital on the last day, I had the honor of carrying you inside of me. It was the first time I've ever seen him cry. He misses you. Your big brother wasn't sure how to react. Most eight-year-olds don't. <laughs> but he touched my belly and he told me that you were a girl and to name you Kara. If you were here with us on August 22nd, that would have been one of your names. You were so tiny, but my love for you was just so big. I was just starting to see you. And when I lost you, I fell into a hole of sadness that only some people have felt. <clears throat> no one tells you like how hard this is. <laughs> I feel guilty for feeling so sad all the time because <laughs> and because I know that people have it so much worse. <laughs> it's just so hard in these situations. I wish I could call <laughs> my mom or you know someone but you know, I just, I just don't have that. And I'm just really sad. I just want to feel better. <laughs> if it was a girl, I was going to name her Daisy. And, uh, I don't know. I just feel like <clears throat> I just miss her for him. I don't know how my life would have been. <laughs> and I'm just scared to get pregnant again because I don't think that I can handle going through this, especially with like dealing with depression and anxiety and like everything on top of this. It's like, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Self destruction, depression, anger, and a pain that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Losing you, baby, was the hardest thing that I had to do, but I knew you didn't want your mommy to live the way I was. So I pulled myself up slowly. I surprised your big brother at his bus stop and I told him that I was taking him for a surprise trip. Are you 
surprise? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh. <laughs> if you were here with us, it would have been your first plane ride. Your aunties all miss you. They love you and they bought you all the things, bathtubs, bottles, bibs, toys, nine weeks of growing and you were already set. One of your aunties had a huge binder to plan your gender reveal and I would give anything to know what you would have been. There was one loose end to tie up that I wish I could have done sooner so she could have felt you. Your auntie Carol and cousin Jax would have been your favorite people. <laughs> he would have been your best friend and meeting him was so precious and every inch of him was perfect, just like you. I want to end this video with a poem that one of my best friends sent me during this time and just show you guys that I'm healing and I feel better and I'm on my way up and this is just kind of closure for me and almost just like a final goodbye to my baby and to start new and just a way to move forward. Little Snowdrop. The world may never notice if a snowdrop doesn't bloom or even pause to wonder if the petals fall too soon. But every life that ever forms or ever comes to be touches the world in some small way for all eternity. The little one we long for was swiftly here and gone. But the love that was then planted is a light that still shines on. And though our arms are empty, our hearts know what to do. Every beating of our hearts says that we love you. I will always love you and I will always be your mommy. And I love you guys. <laughs>